What's up everybody, it's Calm here and welcome to a brand new walkthrough of mine. This is Far Cry 4 and um, I know I'm probably a little bit behind everybody else doing this. I think this game came out maybe three months ago I'd say. But I thought I'd do it because uh, one of my most popular walkthroughs on this channel is a Far Cry 2 walkthrough and I thought this game's come out kind of recently, let's just give it a go and uh, see what's happening. I haven't played this before so this is a blind walkthrough but it should be fun all the same. Let's just get straight into it. We're going to play a normal I reckon. Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chet Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased, the original and copy of the death certificate. Yeah. Passport. Breathe. I'll do the talking. Passport. Jaldi, jaldi. What's happening? Shh, shh. Where are you Patna, boss. Patna? Patna, what is it? Parva, then go to the bar. I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus, not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop, shoot, stop, shoot. Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! At least there's a silver lining. We didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I 
recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you... You flew to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other, you know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little picture right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Mm. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on our grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Should I stay or should I go? They seriously don't mess around, do they? They're straight into this game. Well, can you give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home? I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplune. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again. Terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. No. We'll change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Hmm. All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother. Your mother, on the hey. other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. Mm. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was oof, years ago. She told me she loved me. <sighs> Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. When too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized, it's not me. No. It was the fucking Golden Path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's we'll see here. Give me the bum. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> a text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! Help! From your diaphragm! Help! Help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! We'll find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, 
stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Alright, so there we go there guys, that was the uh, intro to the game. Uh, we're gonna leave it off here guys, just so we can actually get straight into the gameplay in the next part. This was more of an intro game play, so uh, let's uh, see you guys in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.